Hey, it's Chuck here. Welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. And I've had to psych myself up for this. We have 46 listings in today's list. And I took Friday off. It was my wife's birthday. Saturday, we had a fantastic buyer class. But uh, what happened was from Friday on to today, a ton of listings. So let's get right to it. I'll try and make this as quick as possible. I'll try and skip the ones that probably you don't need to see as uh, as in as much detail. 561 Childs, number 58. Uh, condo townhouse, 223000 Decent. I mean, you're talking about a, a good open concept here. It doesn't have the garage built in, so you actually have surface parking on this one. But what you get is an actual square layout. Three bedroom, two washer. Maintenance fees are 280 That's a good deal. It's a very good deal for this complex. 235 Bronte is up a little bit more. And uh, we're at 248000 end unit and again some good looking floors here nice decor more of a split level design and uh, the kitchen with the eat-in and again you have a full bathroom you have a powder room and it's it's a good listing as well 248 is a great price uh, 1491 maple number 201 they brag about this one being an excellent view one of the best in in the complex and and I definitely think it's up there uh, so there is the kitchen you get a couple sort of ground eye views here but it's a good floor plan to get a gas fireplace in a condo which you don't always see and you've got two bedroom and two full washroom and if you watch this enough you know that I'm a big believer in having that second washroom if you have two bedrooms it's a great long-term investment so very, very nice there. Uh, 100 mil side uh, penthouse number two, southeast facing. And I've seen this building fetch way into the threes for good looking units. So you could put twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars $25,000 in and, uh, and you can make a big difference on this one here. And you've got some basic elements there. There's wood cabinets, you can sand them down, you can change the tile, but the floor plan's exceptional. There's windows all across this one. I think it's gonna sell really quick. It's, a, it's just a really good floor plan in this building, one of my favorites. And again, two bedroom, two washroom on this one. 585 Laurier, it's a semi-detached, doesn't say much else, but it's on that sort of 35, 36 by 120 foot lot, uh, one full bathroom. I wouldn't expect miracles inside, but I think that it's a really, really good listing for that. I mean, for that price, normally the good ones are up in the 330, 340. Uh, Beard has snow on the ground. It's a new listing, so they probably just took an old picture. Looks like plutonium paint, like you can't even see the house, but it's a crop side and it's 338. And I mean, the last crop side sold for 350. So, I mean, I, you know, if this one's in half decent shape, you're probably looking at, uh, at a really good house for a good price. Uh, 34 Van Fleet is at 338, 888. And so it's a Bolton model, 1275 square feet. The thing about this one, it only has the one full bathroom upstairs on the second floor, and you can see the kitchen has an eat-in where the photographer is, and then there's the living dining facing this way. So then we've got the breakfast bar here, some hardwood floors. I mean, it's okay. There's a lot of stuff in here. Like, I'm worried it may not show as big as what it actually is, but, you know, Van Fleet, everything else, it's a little close to the train tracks, but I'm sure it's a pretty good listing. So um, the, the price is good. I mean, when you look at what else those models typically sell for i mean it's it's a good good range so raftus 357 9 11 30 square feet so now we're getting smaller but the price goes up now this one has i mean someone may walk in and love this one the floors look good the basement's terrific you got the backsplash here but it's only 11 30 square feet and i know some townhomes have been selling up in the fours there was one that just sold for twenty two thousand over asking uh you know but this one here i mean the, the upgraded flooring they have more of a chance than the next one i think i i'm very appreciative of that i think it's a fantastic it must be a wallpaper or something but i love the way the basement looks it looks like there's a mounting bracket all set up for the tv Nice, but this would be unheard of territory for this model. It doesn't mean it can't happen. It just means that it's uh, it's going to be a tricky one. So 209 Prosser is at 365. Same model, Amesbury, Brandon, 1130 square feet. Um, inside, I find personally, for my taste, I, it just, it's got the upgraded flooring, all that stuff. I just think the other one's bringing more heat for less money, and the other one has a finished basement too, and this one doesn't. Uh, what else do we have here? So we've got uh, Borden 
is uh, 369, and so it's a detached, it's actually a link, so it shares a, a basement wall, but from the outside it's uh, it does not have any, like it looks like a detached home. And yeah, it's not perfect inside, but it's pretty good, and at 369 for basically a detached home, I don't see how you can go wrong. It looks like it has a pretty good open concept layout, and uh, I think these guys are going to do spectacularly well. Okay, 1,600 square feet. Lamont is uh, it's a townhouse. Looks like an end unit townhouse, about 1,800, 1,850 square feet. I'm really surprised this one hasn't sold. Uh, the nice thing, too, is you're not sharing a driveway on this one like some of the other. I mean, it's the design, the colors, everything inside, the light fixtures have all been upgraded. The kitchen looks good. You know, it's it's a really good floor plan. Walkout basement, they've done some work in the back. So, I, you know, maybe this one just needed to be relisted. Um, I, I don't know why it hasn't sold. Some of the stuff that sold for $370 in this area, I nowhere near this one. So, $667 Thompson, $379, it's a Phil Grove. I think about 1,300 square feet, and uh, not a lot of pictures. Like, where's the kitchen picture? 379, the way semis are selling, they might have a chance, but I do see some, some better value for semis up in the high threes. 902 Gaisley is a semi, 1380 square feet with a finished basement. Now, I, legitimately, I think these guys have a, a shot at getting big money for this home. So you've got a big open family room. It's all one room plus the kitchen with the eat-in. The floors look good. Nice white kitchen here. The backyard's all been done. The hot tub. Upstairs, what I like about this model, it's not huge, but all the bedrooms are big enough that you could kind of have like an older kid. Like you're not, it's not like none of the rooms are just tiny. And look at that. I mean, that's definitely... A, a great emotional picture. It's like, wow, I would love to watch movies down there. So that I think is going to be the uh, the one that pushes these guys up. They're going to do well. So 250 wise, 389, 16 something square feet, um, hardwood floors, nice layout, like a big croft side basically. It's a semi though. Uh, granite countertops under mounted sink. You've got the glass shower here too. Double sinks in the ensuite. They did all the right stuff in this one here. It's 389. I think they're going to do well too. Cargill is at 399. It's actually a pretty good list today. So this is a um, a Westgate corner, 1700 square feet. Uh, townhouse does not feel like a townhouse. It's very bright. Uh, upstairs, you've got a little bit of a, a den area plus three bedrooms. Lots of pantry, stainless steel. They did all the all the stuff they should have done on this one. And uh, yeah, three ninety nine. I mean, a couple months ago, these ones were selling at this price, and uh, and markets obviously gone up since then. You can see that Farlow. So this is a seventeen forty square foot home, uh, competing with like the one on Yates that listed last week. And so you've got some brand new hardwood floors. You got some beadboard around the uh, the dining room there. Uh, they did the breakfast bar instead of trying to fit the eat in here. Very clever. I've only seen that once before. That was a very smart upgrade, plus the upgrades on the floor upstairs. And the three-bedroom version is nice. They have a Jack and Jill between the two uh, two other bedrooms that aren't the master. And they've got a good-looking yard there, too. So big fan of this one. Good price. Uh, Cochrane. So the Spirit Plan, I think it's Plan 4, 448.8, and it's got some pictures. Honestly, the pictures look like they were taken from an iPhone or a BlackBerry. I mean, not impressive. You can look and see uh, some other, I mean, these probably 10 or 15 of these models have listed in the last couple months. Uh, there's no shortage of comparable sales, and most of them kind of have similar upgrades. Most of them sell around that 450 plus or minus, so you really can't fault these guys. I think they've done, uh, they, they've probably done the right strategic move. Here's one at 449, exact same model. Uh, it looks like it's got hardwood as well, nine foot ceilings. And, uh, and again, they'll probably, they're probably going to sell just like the other ones. Uh, Liederman is at 449. So now we're talking about shrinking that main floor, but adding a double car garage compared to the previous ones that we just uh, looked at. So there's the kitchen budgeting for appliances, uh, window coverings, all the rest of it. But that double garage is a big, uh, big winner. So just that one room, that's all you get on this one. It's not a very big main floor. 
Upstairs, it's okay. I mean, the bathrooms are a little bit squishy, but uh, $449 is still not a bad price. Immediate possession, obviously, no one's living there. Uh, 593 Holland Heights. This There's a chance that this one could be pretty close to Derry. It's just on the southern part of Melton Trails, um, like just off of Duncan Lane there. So the photos are a little bit dark. It's hard to see where everything fits together. Um, yeah, so you've got the side entrance. I mean, you've got that sort of traditional corner model. I don't know what to think of this one. It's hard to even see the things inside of it. But um, yeah, I think the 1850 square feet for this one, uh, if it's in a decent location, again, if it shows well in person, they got a shot. 1088 Clark, four bedrooms, and so you've got um, fully detached home. It looks like the new version of the Shady Glen with the, uh, with the updates and everything. 454, uh, it's over 2,000 square feet. Again, not not a bad price for that home. Um, you know, we've seen this model even list up in the 470s and get it. So Donnelly, same model as the one that we profiled a couple homes ago on Farlow, and it's at 459. Looks like there's carpet in the main room here. They've done the eat-in here. Nice how they've done this to try and block the uh, the wall damage from the chairs. Uh, so a lot of pride in this one here too. Fun little kids' room there. And they've got the finished basement with the walkout. And they've got a second kitchen. So if you've got a relative, it could be a good thing. Nice uh, grade level windows here. Now the only thing is that it has the walkout basement, but it backs onto James Snow Parkway. So it's a bit of a trade-off there. Is it's great to have that walkout. The fence is about 12 feet high, so it really does block a lot of the noise. Um, but you, you, you still notice where you are. So 133 Swindale is beautiful inside. 469, yes, it's a big list. Um, dark hardwood floors, pot lights, uh, good looking kitchen here. About 1,900 square feet. It's linked by the foundation, same as the one that we profiled before on Borden. So it looks detached, but it's still, uh, it still is joined in some respect. They might be able to do that at 469. Uh, Highway 25, this is just south of Derry on the east side of the road. And we've got these real beer goggle shots. I can't, I don't know what this is. I mean, I, I can't make any comments on it beyond the fact it's got a double car garage. It's about an acre and a half. And uh, south of Derry, I mean, you definitely want to, you definitely want to do your research about what's going to be built around you. Uh, Sunnyvale, 479. And so you've got a double car garage. Really, what can you get? Like, I mean, you're talking about 50 by 108 foot lot. And uh, if it's in good shape inside, you got the windows, the roof, all that stuff's been done. You're in great shape. You might have to do a bit of work in the kitchen here. But that double garage plus the lot, plus the fact that this part of Sunnyvale, you're not backing onto dairy. It's a great listing here too. Okay, so McQuag 489. Tough listing here because they've got so much landscaping happening. And I know that it's pretty easy to rip all that stuff out and uh, lay some sod. But I mean, it's people look at this and go, how am I going to do all the work? And, and there's really not any grass in the backyard here. There's some parquet inside. Nice high nine foot ceilings here. Um, parquet, not a lot of people are sort of electrified by parquet floors, but you add up the size of this home, the finished basement, the size of the land and everything else, the double car garage, 49 is a pretty good price. Uh, Bessie Trail is at 489, and so it's a Quincy Corner, 1878 square feet. Uh, it says it's a partly finished basement, lots of upgrades in the kitchen here. Granite counter, big thick slab of granite, and uh, there's been some good Quincy sales, some of them over 500 very recently in the last couple weeks. So these guys, uh, it's never been a better time to, uh, to sell a Quincy Corner. You either love it or you hate it if you're a buyer. I mean, it's really, you can really polarize the buyer. So Roper, uh, close to the highway, you know, that's one thing with Roper is that you do hear some highway noise, $4.99. And again, some good upgrades on this one. I love the wine rack just off to the side there. And uh, so you've got the one room here plus the dining just behind there. So there's your family room and then it, it's kind of got like a, a living dining. It's a good floor plan, upgraded sink and uh, countertop in the, in the master en suite. And lots of stuff happening in the yard. Just beautiful. I mean, that's, again, that's an emotional shot. Same as that home theater where people say, wow, that looks terrific. Okay, so this very, very strong listing here. Uh, 1858, no finished basement, but uh, nice floor plan. 
Laurier 514, a little bit bigger than the previous one. You get the second floor family room, um, open concept, California shutters, nice shiny granite, and you've even got the, uh, the mirror there, the mirror backsplash. Uh, just adds to the space. Okay, perfect. 514. Uh, 507 white is at 519 and 45 by 121 foot lot. Nice back split here. Uh, one of the one of the rooms here that has actually been used as a pool room. Again, a very attractive feature. It looks like you've got even some some beams going through that room just to give it a bit of extra character. And you get a pool in the back. So no complaints on this one here too. I think it's a good listing. Uh, Woodward 549. This listed about a year and a half ago. It's got the inlay on the floors. Uh, a good traditional floor plan here. There's some upgrades in the kitchen. And uh, California shutters, 9 foot ceilings. And the upgrades upstairs too. Almost the reverse. So they've actually done the dark with the light inlay in the, uh, the master bedroom. And four bedrooms plus you've got a finished basement downstairs with a fifth uh, bedroom. Field 549. Now we sold a nice one on field a couple, uh, couple months ago with a finished basement at 525. So 549 depends really on the size of this home. Uh, it looks like a very similar design to the one we sold, but it doesn't have that finished basement. It's a pretty good size lot too. 45 by 90, it's a nice size. Okay, That's like close to what you find in some parts of Old Milton. Uh, McEwen 569 double car garage feels warm and homey inside hard to get a sense of the size of this home and then you've got your uh, your back here and it looks like there's a pass-through window here to uh, to get through in the dining room so I think this one's about 2400 square feet but please don't quote me it would seem that way it says 2500 in the listing uh, Serafini bungalow 42 by 101 Dark hardwood floors, you've got dark cabinets here. Uh, it's an agent that's selling this one. You've got the hurricane light in the kitchen, lots of money spent, and uh, it's a good looking home, 579. Only two bedrooms, which may hurt it, okay? But when you look, I mean, there's there's some heat in the bungalows. This one on Lydia is also a good bungalow here. 62 by 132, Lydia is one of Milton's finest streets. There's some really nice heritage properties on there. Um, so kitchen, again, the cabinets, the backsplash is a little bit bold, but the cabinets I think could be worked with. Uh, exposed brick through here. You've got the uh, the wood-burning fireplace. Um, it's a nice listing to 579. Uh, if you're looking for a bungalow, it's probably more choice right now than there's been in a very long time. Forbes at 589. And so you're talking about, uh, this is the one last week that actually had just the empty, dirty land. And I, they kind of put the wrong picture. You can see the park just behind here. It's a Southwind model. And, um, you know, I had to showcase it because it just, it looks really good. And it's a Heathwood home. You know, I feel about Heathwood. Love them. Think they're great. And the only thing is there's one down the street for sale and not that far away from this one that's selling for 40000 less. So I, you know, I go probably for the $40,000 one, but 40000 cheaper one. Uh, Diamond is at 598. It's a 2661 square foot wood lily, and you can see the stone and stucco in here. It's a good floor plan, nice nine foot ceilings on the main level. The great thing is the living dining are almost two separate rooms that look over each other. So one of those could be a kid's playroom. There's lots of ways to configure the main floor. There you go. You can see it right there. Okay. So that is, I think, the other side of the room open concept with the kitchen and family there too. You might have a shot. I mean, that staggered garage can be a little tricky for some people. So Mohawk trails at 599 and uh, it's in a neat little location. I'll show you where it is. So it's, um, you've got Guelph line just over here. And so 401 and Guelph line and there's the Mohawk raceway and you got an RV park just over here and then Mohawk Trail comes off of, uh, of second line here and so you can see that there's just it's a nice little private enclave so it's uh, and, and you can see there's some good shots it looks like a nice neighborhood right here you've got the the iron fence um, it's a good looking house it's got the dormers up top on the second floor lots of land here 98 by about 400 so just under an acre and it looks like there might even be a walkout from the basement there too. $5.99 is the price. I'd like to see more inside shots, maybe on a virtual tour, but it looks nice. It looks big too for the, uh, for the price. 
Hearst is at $599, same model as this, just listed last week, within a week, had an offer, uh, 3,000 square feet Montgomery model, one of my personal favorites, living, dining, plus the kitchen, nice upgrades in the kitchen, there's an extra pantry there, California shutters, this one looks just as good as the one that sold quick last week, and I think these guys are going to do exactly the same thing. Uh, 140 McLaughlin, we're probably two-thirds or more of the way through, so be patient. Uh, 6179, under 2,000 square feet. Now, it's nice outside, it's nice inside. This looks like the Balfour model, which, uh, I mean, you're talking about 3,000 square foot homes competing in the same price range as this one. I don't know, when you're less than 2,000 square feet, do you have the legs in this range? I think there's better value elsewhere. 10890 Regional is uh, it's just south of 15th Side Road. This was for sale a couple years ago. Very tricky to sell this one. Um, they uh, they had like well over 100 showings on on the previous listing. Looks like they've done some modification. Maybe changed that to a garage here. Um, you know you can definitely hear the the road noise on 25 uh, inside. They've there, I mean, there's been a lot of work done. The kitchen has had you know like probably a hundred thousand dollars worth of work in it there's a there's a virtual tour link here too 659 you know might be a right the right price for this one they've spent a lot of money i just don't know what they've done since they bought it uh probably two years ago or so uh serafini 668 really looks like a model home here well over three thousand square feet lots of upgrades the light fixtures everything in here has been done Big thick crown moldings, nice ensuite double sinks. It's kicking big time. What else? Stuart Crescent, six ninety nine. I've seen this home in person, and I'll tell you what, it is beautiful. Twenty two fifty square feet, really built for that person who's downsizing from that million dollar home in Oakville, has kids in Milton. So you're talking about all main floor. The basement's huge if you ever wanted to finish it. Lots of upgrades here. You've got a nice Berber carpet, eat-in area, very functional floor plan here. And one of the best things is that it actually backs onto a pond and green space, and it's private, and it's a nice wide piece of land, 46 by 111 at 699. It's uh, it's I think it's a deal and a half. It's great. 11390 Inglis, 1.179 triple car garage. Uh, again, about an acre and a half here. Great upgrades, good pictures. This is how you list a home. Uh, you know, just everything looks new and fresh and high ceilings, updated. Man, awesome stuff. And that, my friends, is the end of our 46 listing tour. And have a great day. Hopefully tomorrow there'll be like two of them. Uh, if you like any of these homes, give us a call. And if you want to meet us at Starbucks, come for a tour. It's over on that side. Have a great day. Bye.